Good evening. Welcome to the Sunderland Board of Selectors <coughs> meeting. Today is Monday, April 2nd, 2018. <coughs> and uh, our first item actually on our agenda, we have a very light agenda tonight. Because um, we had so much fun talking about budget stuff last night. So. But we'll be back at it next week. So um, our first item is our minutes from March 26th. Motion. Uh, second. And... Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, two to zero on the 326 minutes. And updates. We got any? Uh, um, South County, uh, I was just at a South County um, Senior Center meeting. The director, Marlene, has uh, hmm. accepted a new job at the Palmer Senior Center. Uh, she grew up in Palmer, so we understood that. Mm. So South County is in the process of of looking for a uh, a new senior director. The ad was in the paper Saturday. So if you or someone that you know would be interested in that position, please uh, you can look at the uh, town of Deerfield's webpage, and they have the uh, position description online, and or you can call over there and fill out an application and uh, and uh, um, maybe uh, you'd be our new uh, senior center director so, mm -hmm. so that's uh, that's ongoing right now um, I think that's it Dave All right. uh, the only thing I have is uh, in case anyone is interested on Friday April 20th from 4 to 7 p.m. at the library we're doing a pre-town meeting uh, information session. So if anybody's got any questions, you can come on down there. And it's a good way to, to get information on some basic things um, before you go in, so that, that way you're a little more um, up to speed on some of the uh, items, numbers, details, and things like that, so that we can um, spend some more time debating the merits of those things. So that'll be a, and it's actually the first time we're doing that. So I think that'll be a, a good learning experience for everybody involved on that. Maybe we can figure out ways to prove some of the information gathering and presentation. Um, so that'll be good. And then we have a an evening with Jim Barry, who's going to be in to talk about energy on Friday, April 13th at 6 p.m. He's the Western Mass Regional Coordinator for the Department of Energy Resources Green Communities Division, which means he's the absolute, as they're telling us here, the uber guru of all things related to energy conservation and renewable energy. And he'll talk about munis municipal electricity aggregation, what's coming after SREX, renewable heating systems, electric vehicles, the Solarize program, and much more. So bring your questions. Um, and that'll be at the Sunderland Public Library. So that could be a, a good information session. Um, do you have any, anything? Uh, just ongoing coordination with capital planning personnel and uh, the budget. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're working on the community newsletter special edition, which is just going to be dedicated to all things town meeting okay. and town election related. So again, just trying to get information out to the voters um, and hoping to see everyone on April 20th. Yeah, there you go. I know that should be a good uh, a good time. And then next up on our meeting, we have our form here for the parade participation. Yeah, we've been invited to uh, march in the parade. Hey, how about that? Nice. We probably want to do that, huh? I let's see we. Marching, we did Conway's right. We're, we're, so. the, we're the marching selectmen. We <laughs> marched right. in Hadley. We marched in Amherst. We marched in Montague. Um, I was trying to get people in Leverett to, since they used to be a part of Sunderland, I'm talking to people in Leverett to get them to build a to build a float as well. Uh, and Montague nice. too, wasn't Montague? Montague, right? yep. Was North Sunderland, wasn't it? Many many years ago. Sunderland stretched all the way up, yeah. right into Montague. Does that mean we need a float? I think a float with a smoker on it might be a good, uh, yeah. I think that might be a good thing. <laughs> uh, and then we also have here um, from all, this is a, we're going to be doing as part of the 300th anniversary, the Pound the Pavement Road Race. And this uh, has been reviewed by our police chief. He's then there working on the uh, logistics on that right now. But can kind of go over the timelines. It's going to be on Saturday, June 2nd at 9 a.m. You're going to use approximately the same route as last year. 
but they said they're going the start and finish line will both be near the softball fields in front of the elementary school. <coughs> and they're going to have a course set up at 7 a.m. They will be in placing monitors at 8.30 a.m. At 8.45, the police department will close Amherst Road at Hadley Road. <coughs> and then Old Amherst Road at Amherst Road and they'll be positioned at the intersection of Plumtree and Routes 47. And then at 9 o'clock in the morning, the 5K run starts. At 9.05, the 10K run starts. At 9.15, the slowest 10K runners will be turning onto South River. And then uh, and they'll be wrapping it up towards 10.15 a.m. So do, do they have information on the website at all for that? Uh, I'm not sure if it's posted yet, but I'll okay. check. All right, so look for more information on that if you're interested in uh, doing the Pound the Pavement Road Race on Saturday, June 2nd. <clears throat> I think next we've got uh, any public comment tonight? No? Taking a little break this week, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you know, we're just about done, I think, unless anybody's got anything else. Um, just, just one comment about the all state pound the pavement, mm. just so people, um, and I just don't, I don't know sometimes if the, how the information disseminated, but last year the, the pound the pavement organization donated, what was it, 30 computers, Sherry, to the elementary school. Wow. Oh, that was nice. So they, they donated, uh, 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 just so people know, um, a lot of the, uh, the, 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 the money that was made was donated back into the community for different things. I also think they donated uh, uh, to the two police compu department. Two, two computers to the police department to put them in the vehicles. So um, I, I would I would say if you're an almost a runner or going to be runner or someone that likes to to have a nice tour around the town of Sunderland <laughs> and like to jog. Um, I would I would encourage you to participate because any of the uh, the monies that are raised come back into the community as well. So, and I'd just like to thank the all state and the, the whole organization for what they do for the town every day, not just on that one day. It's true. It's only one of the many things that they do. So yep. it's good. All right, and our next meeting will be next Monday, April 9th, twenty eighteen, at six thirty p.m. And we'll dive back into uh, the budget. So we have a. Motion to adjourn? Motion. All right. uh, I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.